Hello and welcome, this is STR Inc. Today I'm playing some more Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Let's go ahead and get started. I think last I left off I was looking at doing a few modifications to my AC here and I do have a pretty good setup. I've got the legs that I was interested in but I think I ran out of money before maybe buying the part that I wanted. I wanted to try that laser turret shoulder mount. Um, I've got enough money. I could still get it. Let's see if it's on both sides or not. I think I'll buy it on the left side since I've already got the needler on the right side. So let's go ahead and get it for here and that'll run us out of most of our money. And let's put it on real fast. And I think it'll be fun to try out. Um, I'll keep... I kind of want to change something else. I don't know if I want the flamethrower anymore. Maybe... I'll get some sort of kinetic going. How about this guy? Grenade launcher. Okay. That'd be cool. So we have a laser, we have assault rifle, explosive, and missiles. Okay. And we've got the new highly expensive legs that we played with just a little bit in the previous show. So let's go ahead and try a new mission. I think I'm not really ready to replay anything yet. I just haven't really been in the mood of trying to rank through these. Um, but I don't know. Maybe we'll do that here uh, next day or two. I'm just really excited to keep advancing the story, though. All right, Chapter 4, Underground Exploration, Depth 1. Watch Point Alpha, Depth 1. Infiltrate the facility and destroy target. An award of 250000 Penetrate the subterranean facility and destroy the McPants energy weapon platform. Here's the job, 621. You'll be going into that underground facility, Watchpoint Alpha. I managed to talk Archibus into letting us lead their survey. They jumped at the chance to use an independent mercenary as their canary. Balaam has already barged in, taking several red guns and MT squads. Seems they want to be ready for a run-in with Archibus' new firepower. You'll start by descending through Depth 1, a vertical chamber sector. It's likely you'll meet resistance from autonomous defenses left by the PCA. The worst of them is lurking at the bottom. Nepenthes, an energy weapon platform. Heard on the grapevine that it already turned half of Balaam's forces to ash. Don't want to end up like Balaam after all. Tread carefully. Nepenthes, okay. This sounds interesting. Let's try it out. Watchpoint Alpha. Sisters, they're deep inside. Okay. This seems exciting. Access the elevator and take it down. Hmm. Okay. I said step one. Fight back. The elevator's locked out. 
Ah, it's gonna be tough. Let's go, Raven. Watch out! Below you. Oh wow, yeah, we don't want to get hit by that, do we? I guess the key to this is going to be to use the platforms for our advantage. And then let's see, I don't see anything. Let's see, we'll just let that guy do his thing. Okay. Oopsie. Oh. Better heal. Wait, the partition's moving. I'm picking up enemy signals nearby. Hmm, what's this over here? Oh, a gift. Ephemera. Wonder what that's gonna be. Oh. Challenger. It took some hits. Oh, I forgot about my laser turret. There we go. Nice. That laser turret's working out pretty well, actually. Fight some more before I can move on. Looks like it. It's going to force us to look in that direction while the boss comes out or something. Oh, yep. Something's happened. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting that they would put a world barrier up like that. It's changed its combat routine, Raven. Watch out for those plasma missiles. AP. Oh. Better survive just a little bit longer, huh? Let's see. I'm not seeing missiles yet. Where are they coming from? Okay, we'll let it do its blasting and then we'll find the next safe platform to jump to. Guess it would be this. Hmm. Suppose we just keep going, huh? Ooh. Almost got taken out by those. Okay, what's next? Huh. I don't see a good way other than just continuing what I've been doing, I think. We hit a checkpoint or not. This might be difficult having to get that ephemera. Oh, looks like we did hit a checkpoint. Hopefully I still have the gadget. Oh. Okay, good. Looks like maybe we have to come back and get it each time. That's nice. Alright, now let's see about this. Maybe we'll do a little bit better here now. It's changed its combat routine, Raven. Watch out for those plasma missiles. Where else? 
Let's keep going. Plasma missiles are coming at me in a little bit more of a homing sense than the uh, lasers did, so I have to be careful about that. We're using this boost may not be quite enough. Yep, see, still hit me a couple times. Let's see, is there a down there? Quite many, so actually. I think I can descend all the way down to this. It's tracking you, 621. Okay. I think we're still using the cover fairly effectively. Hmm. It's still only attacking from down below. I wonder if I need some like really good boosters for this one. Oh. It's getting craftier, for sure. It's done, too. Oof. I don't know if we'll be able to make it. Oof. I think that things are going to start hitting now. Alright. That's what we get for trying to descend. <laughs> I think I'm going to swap out a few pieces to get some speed on my boosters. So let's, let's see what we can do. Um, I think that legs may be something we have to change. So let's start there. This gets me speed up to 305. This one goes to 335. Maybe we'll do that. Okay. And let's just try one piece at a time. I feel like speed is going to be important. I don't know if I should take out every piece to achieve it. We'll look at the boosters as well. Ooh, oh, that was a direct hit. Guess we also lost some armor with this too. I wonder if I could put these and they'd shoot down the missiles. That'd be cool. Don't think it works that way though. I'm just gonna try descending quickly and see if I can dodge it. That is not the way, huh? All right. Silly as it is, I wonder if having tank treads would be the best thing for this level. Oh. Here's a neat little area. I mean, we can come over into there. to be had. Oh, it's actually getting some damage on me. Ah, oh, darn it. I'm not performing as well as I need to be. Let's just watch its pattern for a moment. I 
Ah. Fires a laser per leg, and then a bunch of those plasma missiles. Got it. Okay. Okay. I think we're closer than we've been before. So let's just keep watching for a moment. Seems like a big jump to try to get over that area. I wonder if it's safer to like walk out onto like the center post here and fly over after the uh, laser shots. up. Sure looks like it is. Oh, it's deploying some sort of new defenses it looks like. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. Did that do anything? <laughs> hmm. So it is changing its behavior a little bit again. I guess that neck joint is down further. I don't like the angle that those missiles are starting to go at to they look like they're gonna be a threat. Yeah, that's not even registering. Well, I guess we'll just have to try to get closer. Let's see. Can you attack me from this angle? As long as I take my time, maybe it'll be okay. I don't know how much further I can be sitting now. I think it's going to be able to hit me down there. I'm afraid to go any further. Just observing for a moment. Read it, which does deploy that is pretty slow. Maybe I can get underneath it. key to this mission is like interesting hey there's the ephemera good we'll check it out no new messages okay let's look at those legs Repeater legs for ephemera and pilot ACs developed long ago by the Rubicon Institute Research Institute. All development quirk allows for pilot operation, albeit with actuation translation that outstrips the capability of human nerves. So interesting. Has high boost and quick boost speed, drop down in defenses and AP, jump distance goes up by a bit, so it's height. So it looks like this could be pretty nimble overall. And load limit goes down though. Huh. I'm gonna try it. We'll just see 
kind of how that feels and I wonder if I should change anything else like my core or something hmm all right let's just try that for a moment and I think that Let's see. Let's look at parts real fast. I bet we can buy probably one or two more things. This seems like it might be worth getting. 67 and 54. Let's compare that to Southern 1 though first. We should have made it easier to compare things you already have. Okay, so sacrificing a little bit of close range for more medium range. I think I might like that actually. Let's um, go ahead and get it to. I think it is important to stay on top of the uh, fire controls and try out different things. Okay, yeah, we're just swapping uh, out one piece for another here. Sweet. All right, so that leaves us with only 60,000. I don't think that'll be able to get us anything. So let's do another new mission. All right, depth two, reach destination. Continue infiltration of the subterranean facility and reach the deepest point. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. This is a stay, uh, blow things up mission. Just so you know, 621, my radar won't be able to reach the lower depths. You'll have to trust your eyes and ears. Main system, activating combat mode. Let's go, Raven. This is where the survey begins in earnest. Oh, nice. I like the hunting duty if we just select the boss area. Now oh, these legs do look fast. Yeah, look at that booster, it's crazy. These guys are getting pretty serious now. It's okay, we have laser turrets to help us. These things are tough. Missiles aren't going to work very well underground here. Okay, we set up another laser turret. Wow, that thing is doing its thing. I wanted to check over here. Oh, look. Looks like there's a whole different thing. Nope. Let me go check out over here first. Guessing I won't be able to close this door. Ah, okay. Here we go. Yeah, looks like missiles are going to be completely useless. Maybe we'll switch to songbirds or something. Unless the area opens up. This guy's 
sneaky. Hmm. Well, there's at least a third one. But I don't see anything. Oh, there he is. something to collect. STV Sketch 3. Sketch by STV, a masked battlefield artist sent by Sun to be one of the last artists to dedicate his career to the art of hand-drawn portraits. His works command a high value among collectors in the know. STV's notes, awful bunch, never again. I think I didn't really fight. That was weird. Hmm. The partition should open now. See if you can get access. Ah, oh, that's just taking us back to where we were before the ambush. Got it. So good. So he, he's hitting a little bit harder than I expected, but I don't have the same build that I was using in arena mode when I beat him the first time, so. <laughs> I think we're, we're gonna take him out. I need to make sure I've got range for my missiles. That'll be key to this. I think he did a heal to you. Bummer. I like that I've got lasers that can just sit there and pest around. These missiles underground are terrible. <laughs> Maybe I could use plasma launchers. That would do decently. That's oh, stunned again. And he had a shield. Damage of that name. There we go. This isn't. This isn't over. Kinda looks like it is, buddy. We have a boss fight. What was that? You wonder if it was, it was awesome. I'm guessing this is something I gotta find now. Raven, watch out. Be guarding the steps. We'll see what data I can find 
Literally, it looks like it's gonna be tough. You see how fast that thing was? Jeez. See, am I supposed to blow something up? Maybe over here? Ah, okay. So there was this thing. Maybe I had to double that. Go the other way. I bet it's that over there. Or maybe we have to go higher, and that's why we got this vertical lift. Let's see. Aha! Something to collect. Professor Guy's log. Let's see. Coral is an organic substance capable of self propagation. The speed at which it proliferates is determined by the de density of the colony. As such, a vacuum would provide an ideal environment to maximize coral density and thus growth. However, one must not overlook the signs of mutations within the coral brought about by this density effect. It is mutations such as these that will bring about a collapse that humanity has no hope of controlling. I think that's what it said. Might have been closing. Uh, let's see. So they're looking for an air vent. Down the same. Coral has an instinct to gather together, and it seems I am no exception. I feel a growing urge to move forward. Pretty sure those are the bots that we don't want to have to deal with. Yeah, there you go. So, is this the area? I don't think it is. I'm afraid to go any lower without falling down. I still don't see a quest marker either. Hmm. This has turned out to be a little bit more of an adventure than I anticipated. So close. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Where was that? There we go. Two repair kits remaining. And like a 50% health penalty for a fall, it sucks. But we're too new. Deploy one of our lasers and see if it picks them out. Bad boy. Let's see, I suppose. Let's see, we just came in there. Um, looking around, to see if there's anything interesting, but I don't see anything. Huh. I have a feeling there's another hidden collectible or combat one to be had somewhere in here. Just trying to keep an eye out. 
Let's make it through for our first time. And here's a collectible item, looks like. Oh, that's hitting me. Oh, he's got a shoot at me too. Interesting. Through this vent. Continue on. Looks like we need to drop down here, but there's gonna be another ambush there. Hmm. Guessing some of these are gonna activate. Yep. I have a feeling about that. Okay, let's see about these other guys too. And who else? Okay, looks like we got a couple more here. Nice. Now, uh, hopefully that means we don't have to deal with too many more. I guess I mean, would have activated as soon as I turn on this. Oh, here's another one. So we're back to where we were. Got it. Guessing we're gonna have to fight that crazy monster here soon. Feels like there's a potential for a second resupply. Actually, that might be it right there. So this is gonna be boss fight time, I believe. Yep. This is definitely more complex of a mission than I anticipated, but in a good way. Hopefully, we can take this beast on. I do anticipate having at least some equipment changes based on how the missiles are kind of underperforming in the underground situation that we're in. Stagger on it. There we go. I don't know about this one. If it heals, we're in trouble. I may have to get out my uh, flame broiler version, my AP here. I 
has an interesting rod of stuff. It's melting me with those laser strikes, so. High quality tetrapod might be well here, too. That shield, though. I wonder if phase gun would be good on it. Yeah. Okay, wow. That's a tough cookie. Let's see about swapping out some pieces. We'll do the Rinke Obliterator. And how about one or two small tweaks? Um... I don't know about this guy. This is the highest impact. This this one actually has more. Let's try this out. I feel like if I can just keep it cooked with the uh, flamethrower, maybe we'll have a chance. Down on them much more quickly. Ooh, big hits. better, but might have to go to like El Cheapo or something. Not sure what its uh, weakness is yet. Ah! Uh oh. Now it's going to be something nasty to me, isn't it? Oh, now it's getting fancy. Let's get a little more fire on it. We almost got it to another stun lot. Oh. Almost got him, but I think I'm gonna die. Yep. Ah, so close. I do think that little tweak to the missile system is a good idea. Ah, when he's dying as I die. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna count. Ooh. Well, not bad for a second try, I think. Let's try it again. Ah, I wish I could get past that. An AI controls prototype developed by the PCA. Best at close range game, it looks like. So, if I can get a good dodge on, I think it will maybe get it in a try or two. Oop! Just gotta watch out for that laser blade. Ooh! 
Ooh. Focus that out on this intense. So Zodges are just coming so hard and fast. Oh, come heal. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay, let's get back. A few more hits. Come on, baby, you can get. Dagger. Yep, there we go. Nice. Okay. Okay, there's only three tries or so. Hmm. This is tough terrain wise. Okay, good. Oh, gills. Wonder, is that a generator? Oh, it's a booster. Okay. And ephemeral arms. Nice. Oh, and then a lock hunt completed. Good. Plasma thrower. I'm guessing it's pronounced hammer. No new messages. Alright, good. So let's see what we have in our AC design in our shop. I'm thinking that might have been a back unit for one of those. The hammer. Maybe I'll have to shop for it. Hmm. Yeah, it's looking like it now. Where are the ephemera arms? Let's see what did they get us. Ooh, wow. A substantial amount of stuff. Weight goes up. Boost speed drops, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. They sound pretty good, though. A lot of AP, a lot of defense improvements. Arms load limit goes down. Alright, let's check it out. And let's look at the booster that we got as well. Gills. Boost front and pilot ACs developed long ago, blah blah. No consideration has been given to the G4 solids, human pilots, enabling uncompromised performance, rapid fire, quick boost. Okay, let's try it for fun. I think it'll be fun to get this uh, interesting build going. And let's go back to the legs and set them to ephemera as well. Now we'll be overburdened, but we'll find a way to reduce the weight a little bit. Um, what else do we need to check out? There was that hammer thing that we need to look at buying too. I know that's not a viable build yet, we'll get there. So let's find the hammer. Okay, let's see. Look at this thing. Oh, that's cool looking. A lot of wicked weapons. I have to check them out. Well, let's see. Either I'm not seeing it or I haven't found it yet. Let's see. Huh. Yeah, I'm just not seeing it yet. Let's go back into the AC design one more time. Surely it's unlocked in here because I think it was a log hunt. 
So let's go just a little bit more slowly. Okay, didn't see it there. There it is, plasma thrower, hammer, okay. Plasma mine thrower, okay. Developed by all mine, launches a rotating unit that uses centrifugal force and thrust support to strike targets, charge a weapon to scatter mines. So weapon swing is causing plasma explosions. Yeah, that sounds cool. The weight goes down about 4,000 too. I wonder if that gets me out of the overburden range. It does, nice. So, I don't know, I'm liking this build. It's looking pretty mean. Cool. All right, well, I think that's probably about all I have time for today anyway, so let's maybe buy one more part and we'll call it a day. So let's see, new generator, weight goes up quite a bit though, but let's look through these boosters too. This one is 202,000, but I wanna try those gills out first. So we'll leave that alone. What about cores? I think we'll leave them B2. Maybe the head we'll leave alone. I feel like there's got to be something really cool here to try. Hmm. Another plasma missile launcher. I think it's the bigger version of what I've got now, currently. Let's see. More total rounds, the weight goes. Let's see, max lock count, you can do six instead. Huh, okay. Not sure any of them are calling my name yet. Split missile launcher, pull shield launcher. This sound kind of cool. I wonder if that would have been good for uh, the boss that I just beat as well. I'm gonna try it and we'll equip it and we'll call it a day. Maybe I'll do a quick test run just to see um, how it feels. I think that was left unit. Here we go. Okay and let's do a quick test of it. Okay. Aha! So that shield thing is similar to what um, that I was using, so it doesn't seem to hurt me either. We're gonna try the plasma mines too. Oh, nice. This be a fun build, I think. Oh, that's so cool. Looks like it'd be a good way to take out a lot of enemies at once. Ooh, hit me kinda hard. Let's play around a little bit longer. I feel like these weapons are gonna be kinda situational. If you got a lot of enemies around you, maybe it'll help, but seems uh, tricky. It seems fair. Okay. Well, cool. I think that's probably a perfect place to go ahead and roll credits for the day and say thanks for watching. It's been STR Inc. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I'll have a replay of today's stream up on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good one.